David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you not one, but two retailer exclusive Sailor pens. Uh, Sailor makes some of my favorite pens in my collection. Uh, their nibs are outstanding. Uh, these pens are going to be offered through Gold Spot Pens and are the Pro Gear and the Pro Gear Slim Blue Cobra. Um, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of these two pens, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about them. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Goldspot for providing these two pens for review and for one of these pens to be given away to you. Uh, stay tuned at the end of the review where I will let you know how you can enter to win the Pro Gear Slim, which retails for $280. So that's a very nice prize. The pen arrives in this standard Sailor box. Uh, inside, there's a box with the Sailor logo on it. And inside, we have a pen. There's also some warranty information and a use and care guide and a couple of proprietary Sailor ink cartridges as well. But here is the pen. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Blue Cobra. Now, this is the standard Pro Gear. Uh, it's just called the Pro Gear. And then here is the Pro Gear Slim. Uh, the Pro Gear Slim is essentially the same pen, except everything about it is slightly smaller than the standard Pro Gear. Also, the nib on the standard is 21 karat gold, and on the Slim, it's 14 karat gold. I'll show you how they compare during the size comparisons in the writing sample, but for this portion of the review, let's just focus on the standard model. Uh, this pen is inspired by a car, the Shelby Cobra. Uh, the Shelby Cobra is a car which was manufactured beginning in 1962 in England. Uh, the race car driver and automotive designer Carol Shelby worked with the British company AC Cars to build this two-seat roadster which could accommodate a rather large Ford V8 engine. The cars became very popular, and the early models are highly desired by collectors. An original, unrestored Shelby Cobra can easily sell for over a million dollars. While the car could be found in a number of colors, the most iconic was this blue with the dual stripes traversing the length of the car. That color scheme has been translated over to this pen with the light blue resin and then the white accents at the top of the cap and the bottom of the barrel. Now, I realize from a production standpoint, uh, it would have been rather difficult, but it would have been cool if the pen had two white stripes going down the length of the pen. Let's take a look at the top of the cap. The aforementioned white finial is inlaid with the traditional Sailor Anchor logo. Uh, I think this black and gunmetal colored logo looks really nice in contrast to the white. Uh, then we have the standard Sailor stacked design clip. The cap angles up slightly, and then there is a smaller band followed by a larger main cap band. On it, it's stamped with Sailor, Japan, and founded 1911. There is an angled step down to the barrel, which then tapers down until you get to the end where there is another white piece and the end is flat. Now, the only difference between the Sailor Pro Gear and the 1911 models are the ends. Uh, on the Pro Gear, these are flat, and on the 1911s, they are tapered. Uh, the Pro Gear is the same size as the 1911 Large, and the Pro Gear Slim is the same as the 1911 S. Uh, the S on the 1911 stands for standard, not slim or small. The cap unscrews with one and a half rotations, and underneath is this beautiful 21 karat gold nib. Uh, as I mentioned previously, on the nib for the standard Pro Gear, it is 21K, and the one on the Pro Gear Slim is slightly smaller and 14K. Uh, this is what they look like next to one another. The nibs are available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, zoom, and music. Um, if you haven't tried Sailor's Zoom nib, those are a lot of fun. Uh, you could vary the line width by holding the nib at different angles. It's pretty cool. Sailor's music nibs are cool to play with as well. Uh, the nib on the standard Pro Gear I have is a broad and the slim has a medium, so stay tuned for the writing sample if you would care to see the difference between the two in action. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with the slightest of flares. Um, the band signifies the beginning of the barrel, and then there's a minute step up to the threads and the remainder of the barrel. 
Um, the size and thickness of the section really work well for my grip style. Um, the barrel is plenty long enough to use comfortably unposted. Um, the cap is light enough that you choose to post it. It doesn't back weight the pen or throw off the balance. I actually personally prefer to use this pen posted. Um, I also like that the transition from the barrel to the cap when posted isn't sharp at all. Uh, that's one of my pen pet peeves, when the edge of the cap is sharp and it's uncomfortable against the inside of your hand. For this pen, that's not an issue. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. Sailor uses a proprietary system. Uh, two ink cartridges are provided as well as a proprietary converter. Um, I wish that Sailor would make a larger converter for their King of Pen models. Uh, those pens use the same converter, which seems woefully inadequate for a significantly larger pen. Um, with the metal involved here, eye dropping this pen would not be recommended. The Sailor Pro Gear and Pro Gear Slim Blue Cobra are available exclusively through Gold Spot pens. Um, I'll put a link in uh, the notes below where you can find both models on their site. Now, typically the retailer exclusive models sell for a bit of a premium compared to the standard Pro Gear models, and these are no exception. The Slim retails for $280 and the standard sells for $392. Now, I say standard, but they're just called the Pro Gear and the Pro Gear Slim, but I think you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, Sailor does a great job with their limited editions. Um, I really like the contrast between the light blue and the white on this model. I think it looks really sharp. Um, these are great additions to the Sailor lineup. Now, in regard to the giveaway, I will be giving away this Pro Gear Slim, courtesy of the good folks at Gold Spot Pens. If you would care to enter for a chance to win this very pen, all you need to do is to be a subscriber to this channel, drop a like on this review, and leave a comment in the notes below in YouTube. Uh, in regard to a comment topic, uh, this pen is inspired by a car. Uh, there have been other fountain pens inspired by cars, like the uh, Barnado and the uh, Bentley pens from Graf von Faber-Castell, uh, and there's a Ferrari pen out there as well. If you could design a pen inspired by a car, what would it be, and uh, what would be its distinguishing feature? The comment topic is just a suggestion and not a requirement. Complete contest details can be found in the notes below this video, but 72 hours after the posting of this video, I will randomly select a winner and contact them by replying to their comment on YouTube with instructions on how to claim your prize. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Sailor Pro Gear Blue Cobra. Here it is with the standard size, and here it is with the Slim. Then in comparison with a number of other Sailor models, uh, here it is with a 1911 standard, which I mentioned before is the exact same size and dimensions as the Slim, except for the ends are tapered as opposed to round. And then here is the 1911 Large, which is the same as the standard model. And then here is something that is no longer produced, but I have a copy of, which is the uh, Sailor Pro Gear 2. Um, it's something that wasn't so overly well received. The clip is a little, uh, it's a little bit larger, and the clip is a little bit on the comical side with this anchor. Um, and so it wasn't uh, greatly received, and uh, from what I could tell is no longer being produced. In regard to some larger Sailor pens, we have the Sailor King of Pen Pro Gear, and this is in the sky finish. Then we have a Sailor King of Pens, and this is in the uh, Royal Tangerine color. And then finally, here is another Sailor King of Pen, and this one is Ebonite. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, this is what it looks like with the King of Pen in the Royal Tangerine. Uh, this is with the Pro Gear 2. And then here it is with the Sailor Pro Gear King of Pen in the Sky. So here we go with the Sailor Pro Gear. Blue Cobra. 
This is a broad nib. And in regard to an ink, I wanted to use something that was appropriate and that would be Private Reserve. American Blue. This is what the ink looks like. It's a very vibrant blue with a bit of sheening and shading to it. Uh, this is what it looks like in comparison to Noodler's Liberty's Elysium, which is another very vibrant and saturated blue. Uh, and then here is a Ferris Wheel Press Jelly Bean Blue, which is a little bit on the darker side. This is what the bottle looks like. 60 milliliters, has a really large neck, which I like because that means you can get basically uh, any pen in here whatsoever. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, I care for this broad nib a great deal, um, that it lays down a fair amount of ink and you can get a decent amount of line variation uh, out of this nib. The ink flow on here is very nice and reverse writing. It's not overly scratchy and lays down an extra, extra fine line. And in regard to some fast writing, the feed keeps up just fine. I also wanted to show you a comparison. Uh, the Pro Gear Slim here has a medium nib and I wanted to show you what the difference between that is. And so let's just do a little bit of reading sample here. You can see it just lays down a little bit of a narrow line. And I love the Sailor's Medium Nib. Sailor's Medium Nibs uh, in just about all of their sizes, meaning the size of the nib, the physical size, uh, is one of my favorite nibs in my collection. So it's something that I, I very much enjoy and it performs really nicely. So there we have the Sailor Pro Gear and Pro Gear Slim of the Blue Cobra. Um, don't forget to leave a comment on the uh, notes below and uh, like on this video uh, for your chance to win this Pro Gear Slim model. I have a feeling that whoever ends up with this is going to enjoy it immensely. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.